What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Let's talk about TRT and how to maximize it. So what's crazy is I saw some blood work on someone who took something called 380. Here it is. I've done videos on it before. We sell it at TigerFitness.com. As I've said, I'm, I'm very intrigued by this ingredient, and I use it myself. So I actually looked into this blood work. I'm going to read it up, and I actually wrote up like a synopsis that I want to I talk to you about, right? So the thing about 3AD, what is it? Now, I'm not good at pronouncing this stuff, right? It is Andrust 5N3A17B dial. So um, take it for what it's worth, right? So what we have found with this based on the patent filing, based on the data, it is, I'm going to say, basically I'm going to err on the side of saying pretty safe. Now, obviously, you want to be an adult. I wouldn't take it if you're under 21, 24 years old, somewhere in there. Um, and I'd use caution with taking it. Can you take it year-round? People can argue about that. I actually, in my opinion, you probably can based on what I can deduce from this. So with that being said, how am I going to present this today? As an adjunct to TRT. Now, will this work without TRT? Based on what I've seen, yes. What does that mean, work? It means, well, you'll be in a more anabolic state, uh, per perhaps build more muscle, perhaps build more lean mass, perhaps lose some fat, basically in a better state to build muscle, to feel better. So this data was shocking and it's N equals one. So take it for what it's worth. I actually did a video way back in the day on test boosters where I saw blood work and I just reported on it. I was honest. This is N equals one, take it for what it's worth. Results vary per person, but this was so perplexing, so profound that I had to do a video on it. So let's go into TRT. Problem with TRT, people don't inject often enough. People inject one to two times a week. You're still gonna have peaks and valleys. You got Dr. Todd Lee telling people to inject every single day micro dosing with an insulin pin, right? Most people don't wanna do that. They just don't. People don't like taking shots. But even if you did do that, what if there was something to potentiate your TRT? So less equals more. So I could take, let's say I'm taking 200 milligrams. I actually take 150 a day, 150 a week. 150 a day would be awesome. I take 150 milligrams of testosterone per week. So we can either lower that dose or have even better results on the same dose to get the same or better result. <clears throat> so what happens? On, I'm choking on my own saliva. <clears throat> I'm going to have to take a sip of this reaction energy drink. Always got to plug what I'm drinking, bros. So what happens on TRT? You take the shot, it drops. By the end of the shot, you're, you're done, right? And a lot of doctors only give you a prescription for once a week or sometimes once every two weeks. How do you make that work better? So you'll feel great for a few days and then you crash. That's your hormones. Energy drops, motivation fades, and you start to get mood swings. Just like a woman with PMS. Just like you're living with my wife. Same thing. Your mood swings, crazy. And hormone levels, they fall. And that's the cycle. But have we figured out how to fix that? So this is recent lab data from one subject experimenting with 3AD alongside TRT. And these results make me want to see more results. I actually want to do this experiment on myself. It's not peer reviewed. It's not in a journal. Take it for what it's worth. I'm being upfront with it. This was sent to me. So let's talk about it. So they took 120 milli 125 milligrams of TRT per week while supplementing with 100 milligrams of 3AD daily. That is four caps of this 3AD. There's another one that's more potent, basically 100 milligrams of 3AD per day. Blood was drawn the next day to capture the post-injection peak. Five days later, testosterone levels had declined only 4.6%. Normally, levels would drop by 50% or more in that same time period using TRT alone. So look at it this way. Instead of dropping by half, it only dropped by barely measurable results, 4.6%. So after the subject stopped 3AD, but kept the same 125 milligram dose of TRT, the numbers reverted to normal behavior. 55% decrease or decline in five days. The single variable 
that's this 3AD product, appears to extend testosterone's half-life by roughly 10 times. Based on DK modeling, the half-life works out to about 58 days, with the rate of decline increasing slightly after 7 to 10 days. The shape of the curve is completely different from standard TRT patterns. Hmm. I go into my thoughts on how I think this is happening. This is crazy. This it literally potentiates put testosterone for longer in your system, which leads me to believe that even if not injecting testosterone, this would have a very favorable effect on even endogenous or natural testosterone. So after notable observation was a 1% drop in hematocrit between Monday and Friday. Crazy. Even though total testosterone remained nearly, nearly identical. With TRT alone, hematocrit typically tracks alongside testosterone fluctuations. The steadier values here suggest that 3AD might be slowing metabolic clearance and reducing hormone volatility, which means, well, better health outcomes for those of you on TRT. Even though if you do need TRT, it's healthier than not being on it. If let's say you're really, really, really deficient in testosterone, you still want to mitigate all the risks. And hematocrit, that's the thing you donate blood for, thickens your blood. You donate blood while on TRT to make sure your blood pressure doesn't go crazy. So in other words, Testosterone levels not only stayed elevated longer, but did so more, so more smoothly. Energy, focus, and general well-being remain consistent rather than swinging between their peaks and valleys because your hormones are all over the place. You're basically a chick with PMS. So based on this data, injections every 14 days, 14 days, while using 3AD seems ideal. That'd be 250 milligrams every two weeks to average 125 milligrams weekly. The extended half-life reduces the need for frequent dosing and eliminates the sharp post-shot crash. That means that theoretically, again, no data. I'm not a doctor. Talk to your doctor. Talk to, I'm an idiot. Theoretically, this makes it where you need less shots. Same dose, but not as frequent. For me, I would still do frequent shots and I would still take the 3 AD. Why not have the best of both worlds, right? The advantage is not only maintaining higher total testosterone, but maintaining the stability. The line between injections is no longer a steep drop. It is a controlled glide. So why would this work? What's a possible mechanism? I don't know, but here's a guess. 3 AD may alter testosterone metabolism slowing the enzymatic breakdown or affect the hormone binding and clearance pathways in the liver or kidneys. It could also improve utilization efficiency, allowing the body to maintain active testosterone for longer. Whatever the mechanism, the result is there based on this N equals one data. Testosterone levels remain elevated for an extended period and decline far more gradually. So I have to go into this because it is a video and I am not a doctor and I'm not giving medical advice. This is preliminary and not peer reviewed. This is not, 3AD is not FDA approved for medical use and combining it with TRT should only be done under medical supervision. Long-term safety, lipid effects and impacts on organ health still need more study. Anyone considering this combination should monitor hematocrit, lipids and liver enzymes carefully and discuss the protocol with a qualified position. physician. Sorry. Final thoughts. The goal of TRT is to level up, is to normalize, is to be consistent, is to not have the peaks and the valleys of testosterone going up and down and or always being down, right? So you want fewer crashes. You want more stable performance. You want better overall health. A lot of people, Okay, I live in a neighborhood with a lot of affluent males. A lot of these guys don't even look like they lift. They don't look like me. I probably don't look like I lift anymore. Pretty sad. Father time is undefeated. Regardless, they just want to live better lives. They want to be able to play with their kids. They want to be able to compete at work in the office. They want to be able to have sex with their wife and get it up. Like, that's what males want. Or have sex with whoever they have sex with. I'm not judging. What if this helps that? And what if it makes you healthier? 
this early n equals one and i'm going to stress the n equals one data on 3ad suggests this might be happening with slower declines extended half-life steadier mood and more predictable lab markers this could represent a major advancement or well more knowledge on hormone optimization if future research confirms what this states what this research showed us what this n equals one blood work showed us 3ad can completely change the way we approach testosterone replacement therapy who'd have thought who'd have thought now i know the guy who patented this name's brett great guy i'm very wary of products like this and if you've ever corresponded with me i normally recommend against them because well you don't know what the hell they're going to do. And generally speaking, if you look at SARMs and other things that, you know, they promote being safer and better, we don't know. We don't know what they do. Like SARMs, the dosing they had in rats, like it was like literally equivalent of like the safety data was the equivalent of like three milligrams when these research companies are recommending 50 milligrams. So it might be safe at three. It's probably not safe at 50. We don't know. We don't know. With this, you have some safety data. You have this N equals one, and you have a great patent to back it up. I'm bullish on this ingredient. But anyway, guys, yes, we do carry this at tigerfitness.com. Okay. Obviously, if I'm going to sell it, I'm going to research it. We carry a lot of products in this category at tigerfitness.com. How many videos do I do on the other ones? I don't do them. Because I've always said, look, it's your choice whether you want to take them. I've never been a huge fan of these pro-hormone type products. But this one's compelling. It really is. Am I going to go out on a limb and say, you need to buy this? I'm not. I'm just presenting what I see. And I'm privy to some cool data where I'm at. So if you want to give this a try, tigerfitness.com, coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A, MAHA, saves you 10%. On this and everything on the site, including GoBHP. GoBHP goes with everything. Go to the site, put Go GoBHP in the search bar, read about it, chat GPT it, Google it, ask your neighbor, don't care. GoBHP is the best thing ever created, period, for overall health and everything, just is. But with that being said, this is a damn, damn impressive and intriguing ingredient. And yes, I, I do personally take 3AD. Anyway, guys, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell because making TRT work even better, that's not a game.